All right, we're back with the oscilloscope again, and we're going to focus in today on the uh, horizontal sensitivity, the time base, and look at some of the features and functions that you might be using in terms of the time base. Again, we have a signal before us, and this is a square wave. Uh, the square wave actually comes from a calibrate uh, section in the scope itself, and I'm simply using this uh, probe, uh, and I'm just clipping onto the calibration mode. Uh, this is uh, the ground terminal, and we connect the ground to ground. We connect the uh, probe to the calibrate terminal, and that gives us our display. That display comes in through this uh, BNC connector. All right, and so you can see that there's just a little connector that goes on top there that puts the signal from the calibrate segment into channel one, and we're looking at it. We'll turn channel two off. All right, so here's our uh, uh, trace. It looks like a square wave. Um, we want to change the time uh, signal. We have 200 microseconds per division, and so we're looking at this and saying that is one, uh, sorry, 200, 400. It's a little bit bigger than 400 microseconds, and so the overall period is two, four, six, eight, and a bit uh, um, microseconds. So almost a millisecond, uh, just a little bit uh, less than. Uh, a one kilohertz signal, all right? And so uh, if we want to make finer measurements, we may want to uh, increase the sensitivity so that instead of 200 microseconds per division, it's 100 microseconds per division. And we can see that uh, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, and a bit, five, six, seven, eight, uh, maybe eight and a half, um, uh, uh, 100 microseconds. So our sensitivity is controlled by the overall sensitivity knob. But there's some other features in here that uh, are of use looking at, and they come under the cursor section. If I put the cursor section on, this gives me a set of cursors. Number one, it gives me the Y cursors. So uh, I can adjust those uh, by selecting cursor y, number one and set it at the top of the uh, uh, Trace. I'll take Y2 and adjust it to. Uh, sorry, that's that's Y1. Chase Y2 and we adjust it to the bottom, and we can immediately read off the scope uh, that tells us that this is 2.48750 volts, and so a very accurate measurement of the uh, the difference between the two voltages there. That's set on the Y cursor. If I select the menu button to the X cursor. Uh, it gives me a couple of cursors in the X direction. And so in this particular case, I'm going to select um, uh, X2. I'm going to put it at the end of uh, one of the square waves. I'll select X1, and I'll put it at the beginning of the square wave. And we can make the delta X measurement. It's 828 microseconds. Uh, which gives us a frequency of 1.2077 kilohertz. So we can we can use the cursors to make very specific measurements of the uh, waveform that's on the screen in front of us in terms of both time and voltage. So the cursors give us the capability to that. We'll turn the cursors off. There's another function called quick measurement. We put the quick measurement on. Uh, you can then select what source does it come from. Does it come from channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4, etc.? Uh, or you can select what kind of measurement you want. This particular measurement talks about amplitude, average, uh, put that back on again, counter, delay, uh, frequency. Right now we've got this thing set at frequency, so we've selected the frequency. We can adjust those up and down. Uh, this is the frequency measurement, and we'll say, okay, measure the frequency. And we ask it to measure frequency. There's a, an output here that comes out, and it tells us that this is 1.199 kilohertz, and so it makes a measurement uh, automatically. No cursor is required. There it is. Uh, it's done. We can clear the measurements. And let's clear all. So the measurements are gone. I make the frequency measurement that I want, and that one measurement comes out, and it tells me what that particular value is that I'm interested in. So if I'm not interested in frequency, I'm interested in amplitude, I'll clear the measurement. I'll select the um, uh, amplitude. Uh, I'll measure the amplitude, and there it is. It comes out to 2.50 volts, which is what we expected in the first place. So I can make measurements either using the quick measurement, or I can make measurement using the cursors. 
All right, so let's clear uh, the cursors. Uh, the other function that I want to show you is the, uh, is the main delayed function. When we press the main delayed function, uh, we uh, see a couple of menu items. Under the time mode, we see normal, uh, and we see XY, which produces uh, voltage on channel 1 versus voltage on channel 2, so we can do an XY plot. Uh, we can have a roll function, which makes this thing look like a chart recorder. Or I'll go back to normal position. This is the original one. The second menu item here is the zoom position. So let's have put the zoom in. And what the zoom does is it takes a very small window and looks at that window on, the, uh, on a second screen. So it's got a split screen where this is our original waveform. This is the magnified version. And I can magnify that by adjusting uh, the window in which I'm looking at. You see, I see it just go beyond this uh, transition. That's this transition over here. The center transition stays in the center. That's where our uh, trigger event is. And uh, that's the window that we're looking at. We make the window smaller. We're getting a better look at what's happening during that transition. And as I make it smaller, you'll all of a sudden see that there's some interesting features coming on here. All right? And so that square wave, which we thought was a perfect square wave, is not a perfect square wave at all. It is uh, quite a response. And we can actually take that and we can, uh, oops, we don't want to do that. Um, we can make an adjustment of where that window is. I'll, I'll make that window just a little bit bigger. And we can uh, adjust the trigger event in such a way that we can look down the length of the, um, of the waveform. All right, so I'm moving the window. And so I can look at the second event there if I want. And uh, as I uh, make the window bigger or smaller, I can adjust this back and forth so that I can look at any point on the waveform. So we have our horizontal uh, uh, sensitivity control. We control how much of the waveform we see. Uh, we can put cursors on there to make specific measurements. We can uh, make quick measurements of common functions that we like. We can use the main delayed function in order to uh, give us a zoomed in picture of the waveform that we're looking for. And then there's the uh, save and recall functions, and there's printing functions, and there's various other functions in here that help us uh, uh, take the information that's on the screen of the scope and give it to us in various formats. All right, so that is the, uh, the time base or the horizontal sensitivity. Thank you very much.